This question is is interesting and complicated uh, for me, just because I'm surrounded by believers who are doing all of that. They they want religious liberty or are after it. They're after uh, loving and preserving the life of the unborn, and they're after uh, social justice and seeing uh, human flourishing, whether it's in the hoods and neighborhoods or whatever the case may be. I, I see. I'm surrounded by believers that are doing an after and have a love for all of that. And so the intrigue for me in believers who are not, I think comes from this idea that it's a segmented thing, that I, as a believer, I can be after religious liberty and abortion and marriage after in a good way, uh, preserving it. But the social justice, that's just kind of for the liberal, you know, radical believers. Um, I think the believer who sees that God is after it all, that God cares about it all, that it's not a segmented thing, that it all falls under the domain of love is the believer who has concern for it all. And so I would assume that the Christian that's struggling with it has segmented it in their hearts because they somehow believe that God must have done so too. And I don't believe he has. I, I believe human dignity matters in the womb and outside of the womb. I believe that his gospel, when it comes to how marriage represents his gospel, matters. Um, all of it matters to God. So all of it must matter to us. This isn't a, a radical liberal Christian thing or a super conservative Christian thing. It's simply Christian. And so, yeah, I think if we've segmented God, then we've probably segmented these kinds of discussions.